Hi, hello, welcome to Maths Guru channel. In this video, I am going to explain 7th class Maths question paper SA1 exam. Okay. See, section 1. First question, represent 3 by 5 on number line. Okay. Represent 3 by 5 on number line. Just to how to take the, it depends on the denominator. We should take the numbers on the number line. Okay. Here 0. Here denominator 5 is there no. So 1 by 5, 2 by 5, 3 by 5, 4 by 4 by 5 up to so on we can draw it. Here left side minus 1 by 5, minus 2 by 5 up to so on we can draw it. Now 3 by 5 where it is the, where it is there on the number line you can make it as a circle. Like this we can represent a 3 by 5 on a number line. Okay. Next second question. Solve the equation 3x plus 4 is equal to 19. Okay. Here just to they have given solve. Here any method they did not mentioned. Okay. With transpose or without transport. Without transpose uh, we can use any one method which you feel easy. See here I took the uh, with transpose method. Okay. So 3x plus 4 is equal to 19. This is the given equation. Now, 3x is equal to 19 as it is. Transpose of plus 4 will become minus 4. 3x is equal to 19 minus 4, 15. Okay. Now, x is equal to transpose of multiplication will give division. Okay. Now, 3 1s are, 3 5s are, 15. Cancellation if you do. Okay. You will get x is equal to 5. x is equal to 5 you will get. Like this we can solve that. Now, Third question, find the product 2 by 3 into 4 by 5. Very simple. Here, product of numerators by product of denominators, we, took, we can take the formula. And here, numerators and denominators, we can multiply. 2 4s are 8, 3 5s are 15. Okay, like this, we can find the product of a given numbers. Okay, next Next fourth question, find the reciprocal of 13 by 7. Very simple. Reciprocal means just we should take the reverse of that number. Reciprocal of 13 by 7 is 7 by 13. Okay. Next fifth question, write the following integers in descending order. In descending order. Descending order means big to small. Big to small or decreasing order. Okay. Now, here in this, we have negative numbers and positive numbers, right? Here, first, biggest number, big to small, we should write, no? Here in this all, biggest number is 20. So, 20, next to 10, next to minus 2, minus 6, minus 84, okay? Like this, we can write descending order. Next, sixth question. Find the complementary angle of 25 degrees. First, what is complementary? Complementary in the sense, the sum of two angles should be 90. Then we can call those are complementary angles. Okay. Here, one angle is given 25 degrees. The other angle we can find out. How to find? You can subtract given angle from the 90. Okay. So, you will get other angle. So, 90 minus 25, 65. Therefore, the complement angle of 25 is 65. Okay, next seventh question. Find the number when multiplied by 7 and then reduced by 3 is equal to 53. Okay, now here let us take one number x, then multiplied by 7 means 7x, then reduced by 3 means 7x minus 3 is equal to 53. That simple equation we will get if you write that conditions that only. Let the number x multiplied by 7 reduced. Reduced means minus. Reduced to minus 3 and is equal to 53. So, 7x is equal to 53. Transpose of minus will become plus. So, 53 plus 3, 56. So, x is equal to 56 by 7. 7 ones are 7 eights are 56. So, x is equal to 8. Okay. That is the first section. Now, second section, find the measure of x, y, z from the figure. See, here, given figure, 
it is having two intersecting lines okay the given angle is 160 vertically opposite angles are equal no so these two are vertically opposite angles so y is equal to 160 we can take now here x y values y we got it no so x z values we, we can find out for that x y here these are the two angles on the straight line so x plus y is equal to 180 now x is equals to here x plus y is equal to 180 degrees now x plus y is equal to 160 we already know that is 180 now x is equal to 180 transpose of plus 160 minus 160 x is equal to 20 whenever x is 20 here x and z are vertically opposite angles those are equal therefore z also 20 degrees okay we got x y z values okay next question see ninth question sum of three consecutive integers is 24 find the integers now here first you can take the general con three consecutive integers a a plus 1 a plus 2 these are three consecutive integers you can consider or x x plus 1 x plus 2 also we can take no problem now sum sum means what addition sum of this consecutive integers is 24 now we can solve that so a plus a plus a okay 3a plus 1 plus 2 3 okay is equal to 24 3a is equal to 24 transpose of plus 3 will becomes minus 3 so a is equal to 7 3 ones are 3 sevens are 3 sevens are now a plus a plus 1 plus a plus 2 is equal to 7 8 9 Th these are the three consecutive integers here a 7 means a plus 1 means 7 plus 1 8 here 7 a plus 2 since 7 plus 2 9 here we should write commas individual numbers we are writing now okay now next question solve the problem 4.3 into 3.4 very simple given that this decimal numbers given first we can convert into rational numbers then you can multiply these numbers you will get this now denominator uh, denominator 100 is there no after two digits we can write the decimal point from the right side okay next next question arrange the given fractions in ascending order ascending means small to big okay now here given that first we can take the lcm that lcm is 30 now you can convert this unlike fractions into like fractions by multiplying proper table okay after getting equal denominators then those are like fractions that like fractions uh, after that we can compare the numerators and we can write in ascending order 9 by 30 10 by 30 12 by 30 9 by 30 means 3 by 10 10 by 30 means 1 by 3 2 by 5 okay these are the ascending order of the given fractions next to 12th question solve the equation this one here given equation now we can multiply inside the bracket 3x minus 3 3 is a 9 is equal to 10x plus 5 now 10x transpose of plus 3 will becomes minus 3 is equal to minus 9 transpose of plus 5 will becomes minus 5 now 10x minus 3x is equal to 7x is equal to minus 14 now x is equal to minus 14 by 7 7 ones are 7 twos are. so x is equal to minus 2 okay like this we can find the x value okay next to 13th question represent 5 into minus 3 on the number line given that first to do the normal multiplication plus into minus minus 5 3 is a 15 okay now these are the now you can take the number line on that number line just a minus number sign off to take why because here only minus 15 we want okay so simply we can transpose three three digits so that up to will get minus 15 okay you can write in sentence formation also starts from zero take th three steps 
okay in each jump like that five jumps you can take to get minus 15 okay this second uh, section questions also completed i hope you understood next video i will um, explain section three questions okay thank you